Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. In an anticlockwise traverse ABCA, all the three sides were equal in length. The magnetic forbearing of the line BC obtained by prismatic compass was 15 degree 30 minutes. The bearing of the sun observed was 184 degree 30 minutes at local noon with the compass. Calculate the magnetic bearing and true bearing of all the sides. From the question, we can assume that the traverse is a triangle because there are three sides. Also, all of them are equal in the length. The forbearing of the line BC is given as 15 degree 30 minutes. We have to find the forbearing for AB and CA. Let us find the increase of forbearing per station. Here there are three stations. So the increase will be 360 upon 3. We will get 120 degree. Using this forbearing, we can find the forbearing of CA. For that we can use the formula. If the traverse is in the anticlockwise triangle, the formula to find the forbearing of the next line is forbearing minus 120 degree. Suppose we have got the answer as negative, then we have to add 360 with the answer. Let us find the forbearing of CA. 15 degree 30 minutes minus 120 degree, we will get a negative value. We know that if the answer is negative, we have to add 360. When we do that, we will get 255 degree 30 minutes. Now using this forbearing, we can find the forbearing of AB. 255 degree 30 minutes minus 120 degree, we will get 135 degree 30 minutes. Now let us apply a check. We already know the forbearing of BC. But one more time, let us find using the forbearing of AB 135 degree 30 minutes minus 120 degree, we will get 15 degree 30 minutes. Hence, both of the values are same. Hence, OK. We have calculated all of the forbearings. In the question, it is given that the bearing of the sun observed was 184 degree 30 minutes at a local noon with the compass. In the local noon, the bearing of the sun should be 180 degree. Let us find the declination. 180 degree minus 184 degree 30 minutes. We will get a negative value. That means the declination occurs towards the west. Now we are going to find the true bearings. For that, from these bearings, we have to subtract 4 degree 30 minutes. When we do that, we will get the true bearings. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.